Hey everyone, it's me again, Muddles. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be playing some more Raid Shadow Legends, and today's going to be a new video on. They've just dropped a new tournament, and it's a bit niche this time. They've changed it up a bit. I'm trying to make it a bit more challenging by the looks of it. So, the Dragon Tournament, the special challenge rules are active. So, what they're doing with it is. You'll be only using champions from the Dark Elves faction. So, I mean, it looks like you get your points the same way by whatever gear you get. But you only get to use Dark Elves. So, let's have a look at who we can use and what we can do. So, Dark Elves, Dark Elves. It was Dark Elves, not High Elves, wasn't it? I'm confused now. Let me double check before I do the video on High Elves or Dark Elves and it's the other one. Dark Elves, right. Dark Elves, let's have a look. Right, so there's quite a few we can use. However, I don't think it's going to be easy. I'm not sure we're going to be doing Dungeons 20 with this. I mean, everyone's go to. You've got Kale. You're going to have Kale in there who's going to be absolutely great. I mean, who have we got? Have we got anyone in rare for drop defense? I would. Definitely use my spirit host just because she will move all the debuffs, which would be great for when you get to the dragon. And I mean, a bit of speed aura, not too bad. And she can put an attack to make you go through the waves a bit quicker. Uh, who else have we got? You can use him. I mean, I'll be using Painkeeper if I was you. I mean, she? Yeah. She'll be healing all your team, keeping them up alive. I mean, if we're going on to epics, I mean, if you've got a madame, fantastic. I mean, she's going to be dropping the defense and the attack for you. And then, who else have we got? Captain Tamelia could be good at keeping your team alive. I'm probably going to have to go with Crimson Helm, who I quite like using as well. I just don't utilize him too much. Him, her. Might be a her. What do you reckon? I reckon that's a her with that much skin on show. I've got Zoe. If you've got some of the better champions, some of the legendaries, all the best to you. <laughs> I'm not that well endowed in the high elves. Dark elves, sorry. Cold heart, if you've got one, yeah. She's not too bad at the dragon. Not a key person, but who have we got? Any of these got any drop defences for you in the rares? Yeah, I suppose Judge can, can drop it for you. Maybe use Judge. Mystic Hand, I don't think Mystic Hand does a lot for us in this. No. Um, who else have we got? Still Bowie, let's have a look. Attacks one enemy two times, 35% chance of placing a 50% decrease attack. You don't care about that for Dragon. You don't care about that for Dragon. Yeah, that could be okay for the waves. We've already spoke about Spirit Host. Hexweaver, what's she got? So decrease accuracy, you don't care about that. Kills or allies by 15% of their max HP. Okay, that could come in handy. And an increased speed. Right, what have we got? Wanderer. So 30% chance of placing a 15% weaken. Turn meter. Nah, nothing too great there. Cold Heart. We all know about Cold Heart and a, and a Heart Seeker ability. But also, she can lay some poisons down. Only a couple, but every little helps with the dragon. Paragon. Yeah, I mean, pff, you can do a little bit. You want to get turn meter control you're not really interested in. Doesn't look unkillable on a two turn cooldown. If you didn't know that, that's great. And a bit of decreased attack. If you've got retainer, decreased defense on the A1. Could come in handy for the dragon. Counter attack wouldn't be a bad move either for him. And we're not going to put the dragon to sleep. Who else have we got? Eviscerator. Attacks on anything a bit. Yeah, poison, yeah, eviscerate maybe if you got one. Decrease defense. What's this? I've never read eviscerator. Attacks an enemy champion with a default skill whenever they are healed or receive a buff. Attacks one enemy. If multiple enemies are healed or receive. That sounds like a pretty good move, if I want to see. She might be alright for the arena. What do people reckon on her? No, I'll read the death reviews. Okay, people think she's pretty good for clan boss. Okay, why, why, is, why is that? I just got the poison, I suppose. And Painkeeper, you all know about Painkeeper running on killable teams. Harvester. I mean, she's pretty weak. Who have we got in here? So, Luria's pretty good for um, 
bit of a bit of AOE control. She can do a freeze, she can pop it out. Just gotta get her booked out really to really get the most out of her. I mind at level 50, I might try and break her out a bit. Captain Tamelia is really good. And not someone you really have to level 60 either. Just building with a spider. I might have to get there we go. And she can just keep healing up your team. So just keep hitting it. Spider might be might be alright. They can increase your team speed by 25% in dungeons. Don't really care about the remove buff on the A1. Degrees attack can be quite good. And the problem with this here is it's only got a 60% chance of placing buffs unless you book them out, which is really annoying because Spider could be really good. You have to book them out. Um, so Crimson Hell is pretty good. Gets to provoke plus the uh, block damage on itself. And revive on death and 60% increased defense on all allies for two turns. That's pretty cool on a full turn cooldown when booked. Warden's one of them messy ones, I think. So attacks one enemy, 40 chance of placing a weaken, not bad for dragon. Attacks all enemies, once again, only has a chance of decreased attack. Place the increased defense on all allies for two turns. Attacks one enemy, place a 30%. Okay, not bad. On a free turn corner, that's not too bad. I might try him out in um, Fire Knight. What I was saying, that I've not even bothered finishing up on my. Um, what is he called? Hound. Bellhound, that's the one, sorry. Also, trailer for Delver. What we got, Delver? No, heal reduction, weaken. Nah, that's all selfish stuff. Bane Cleric. Nah, I don't think for dragons. Luar. I mean, it looks like we're quite limited. Uh, decrease attack and decrease defense for the high elves. It could be a struggle for a lot of people. I mean, let's go. Let's go with sniper and stuff. I mean, sniper. She doesn't do a bit of decrease speed. Doesn't affect the dragon. Redeemer. Increase attack. Heart piercer. Increase attack. I mean, we are going to struggle for decrease defense and decrease attack for the dragon. I'm not going to go for the legendaries. But so, who have I got? In the high elves. Let's see. So if I go by faction, so no, it's dark elves only, doesn't it? Not high elves. I think I'll be alright for high elves. There's my dark elves. <laughs> right, here we are. So who have I got? One, two, three, four. Five. I think that might be my team. I have to gear all these out and see what I can do. I'm going to have Xavier, Madame Cerise, Kale, Crimson Helm, Spirit Host. I have to gear them all out. That's going to be a lot of work. Who have I, I've got them all okay geared, but I don't think I'm going to be doing Dungeon 20 in this. No, I think it's not a bad idea. I mean, what are the rewards like for this? I've not even looked at the rewards yet. So, I mean, they could be better in all honesty. I mean, this is going to be hard. Especially for like, I mean, I'm a low spender. I do 10, 20 pound a month on this game. I'm looking at people flying already. I can't see a way that I could be able to. What's this? 100 people in the group. I might give it a couple of goes and see how well I do, but there's no way I'm getting that void shard. I'm not even sure I've got the time to do all this. But. Some of you will, and some of you, I think, will do really well in it, but that's like a big ask to get that tournament done. Right, so we've got the champion trace. My other events have just died. What have we got? Dungeon Divers. What's this looking like? Pretty standard stuff. But that's it, guys. Let me know what you think. I mean, Dragon Tournament, Special Rules, sounds pretty good i think i prefer it when i did rares only um going on a faction i mean that's going to be really hard because it means you have to really think about it and i imagine a lot of the low spend or free to players could have mostly rares and a couple of epics or legendaries if all if at all but all the best guys hope you get well, hope you do well in it thank you very much for joining me i've been muddles and i'll see you again soon take care